Welcome everyone to week two of History 310 Online. This week we move deeper into the course content to take an overview look at the history of the Americas before European arrival, the period historians call pre-Columbian, that is, before Columbus. Contrary to what Europeans long claimed or assumed, the native peoples of America were not an uncivilized people who roamed about in an untamed wilderness. In fact, it's not really possible to understand the history of our country and how we got to be the way we are unless you first understand that the English colonies and later the United States were built on a foundation established by Native Americans. Because lacking the wealth, labor, technology, and know-how, Europeans were not capable of transforming a true wilderness into the colonial empire that they did. The colonial empire they did create was possible only because the American landscape they came to inhabit had already been transformed by native peoples into a humanized landscape of agriculture and settlement with long-ranging connections of trade and exchange already established that could be exploited by Europeans. In other words, the American landscape was not a wilderness, but a transformed, adaptable environment well-suited to human habitation, thanks to the countless generations of native people who imposed their own views of civilization upon it. Therefore, the European colonial empire that did arise reflected the range of options already available thanks to that native transformation. Now, this is a very different premise for American history than the traditional one offered in public school textbooks and the like but it also makes a lot more sense given the actual evidence uncovered by scholars. In addition to the native presence, we will consider how the English colonies of North America were part of a larger global region that we'll call the Atlantic world, where the key players were not simply Englishmen or even Europeans, but Native Americans and Africans as well. Those living in the English colonies reflected this diversity and global reach, and so We'll want to move beyond the narrow interpretation of early American history as primarily an English settler affair. This week you'll learn about the history of early America by watching both parts of our video lecture on pre-Columbian America, along with uh, another video lecture on the rise of an Atlantic world. I've included also a PowerPoint slideshow featuring so-called Costa images from colonial Mexico. These portraits were created in the 18th century to showcase the incredible racial and ethnic diversity of Spanish America. And you'll know just how meticulous were the Spanish in defining a wide variety of racial mixtures and pairings. As you look at the Costa images, consider just how fundamental issues of ethnicity and race would likely become in the history of the Western Hemisphere and how the idea of race itself was being invented by those with power to control those who had none. These video and PowerPoint lectures will give you a solid foundation for your first chapter readings in our featured book this semester, Henry Winsex, Master of the Mountain, Thomas Jefferson, and His Slaves. In particular, you'll be reading uh, the introduction uh, and doing a homework assignment based on that. Please see the instructions for this homework one assignment based on that reading uh, in our week two module on Canvas. As always, it's important to give yourself plenty of time to submit this assignment before the posted deadline. Enough time to get in touch with me, in other words, if you're experiencing any trouble. So as always, get in touch with me if you have questions about any aspect of the course. Have a great week, everyone.